Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to do a tool review of the Klein TI-250 Thermal Imager. Stay tuned, here we go. Yes, I have finally gotten my hands a hold of the Klein TI-250. I have been wanting one for some time. Let's get it turned on. It comes in this nice little carry bag with a um, user's manual right here. It tells you how to use all the functions on it. I will tell you, you've got a lanyard spot right here. Here's your camera. On the top, you have your on and off, and this is where you take pictures. Now, on the bottom here, there is a spot for a memory card so you can store your pictures. And this is where you charge it up. <clears throat> and you can download your pictures onto a computer or an iPad through that data port right there. Now, this is the image that you see right here. I'll show another one. That's of my vehicle. It was running earlier this morning. But it has a nice, it has a nice um frame rate. It has a large screen compared to some of them. A very compact size. Let's go over some of the functions. You press this to get in the menu. And if you want to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, you just press on that and you can change. I'm gonna leave it on Fahrenheit. This one right here takes away your center spot, which reads this temperature right here. And it has a high and low. I don't know if y'all, there's little squares and the uh, one square is gonna read, there's one right there. One square is gonna read the top, one square is gonna read the bottom. So it gives you your high and low temperatures in the frame. This right here, allows you to change your color scale and i'm gonna leave that alone nope and here you can look at the pictures that i have taken that's one of a breaker i'm fixing to show you a little video on that one coming in just a second this is uh, a register But there you go, that's. If that image looks detailed on the camera itself, it's because that's 10,000 pixels on a 2.4 inch screen. And I'll go over how I downloaded that in just a second. You can scroll through your pictures and you can download them. And over here in settings, you can change the, temp the color temperature scale set time and date you can select an emissivity you can adjust it if you know the rated emissivity of a surface you're measuring and the auto power off five minutes ten minutes or thirty minutes you see i have it on ten minutes you can adjust the brightness the high low alert on um, local information you can restore it to default settings and format your SD card. <clears throat> Supposed to be a long press and you go back. There we go. But if you see it freeze up like that for just a second, it's going to have a C-A-L at the bottom down here. It's either calculating or calibrating when it does that. Normally it has a pretty fast frame rate and high pixel rate. So you get a good quality image and it's not shaky and jerky when you're looking at it because you have a high frame rate. And here was something I was talking about earlier that center square right there is 66 degrees. And 
if you can see those smaller squares i'm gonna try to get closer there's little smaller squares that are moving around the screen the high and low temperature at the top of this color bar scale tells you what those temperatures are so i'm fixing to show you where i was looking at a breaker panel and i found one breaker that was in use and looked kind of warm but when you look at the temperatures it was not terribly hot it just shows up on this scale as hot because it was the hottest thing in there so i'm going to show you that right here this is a panel i've had to work on recently and as you see right here that breaker right there with the red switch on it is hot that connection right there about 84 degrees and even the wire is hot you can follow it all the way up So it's really helpful in diagnosing a um, breaker or connection that may be hot. Actually, I think that's the one that runs my lights because that's the only one that was on. I had to move this because when my cable was installed, they apparently knocked it off and put it in the wrong spot. But I saw this while I was in here. Yo, I'm just checking to make sure that the heat is actually running. And as you can see, this register is warm. Over here, you can see that light. But yeah, you can see that the heat is on and it's running. That's not a great indicator of how well it's working, but you do know that it's working. Another thing I would mention, I brought it out here in better light it has a nice rubberized like plastic heavy duty molding around it and if you can see here this is raised on all four sides to help protect this screen in case you drop it the back of it and the lens are well protected here the lens is depressed down in this metal piece the thing has a very rugged and solid feel to it and because it is so small i'm probably going to store this in my bag because of how useful it can be just to look at the actual size that looks like that is three and an eighth total width width and height and the thickness is right at one inch so that is very compact and I'm going to show you how it fits in my bag, even in the case. All right, this is it in its case. And as you see, that fits right down in there. This is the Tech MCT. Fits right down in the pocket and it's still got room for this psychrometer probe. So I'm, I'm going to start carrying that with me. That's a nice little ad. I do all my video editing and downloading of pictures on an iPad. So it was important that I be able to download these pictures on my iPad. Now, if you look right there to the left, you cannot see the camera recognized in the pictures app. But if you close that out and open up files, you see that no name over there to the left. That's it. That's the camera. You click on it and then images and there they are you can then click on an image and hit the arrow coming out of the box up at the top and save it to photos or email it whatever you wanted to do but that's how you download those pictures onto a phone or ipad so that's it for the klein ti 250 thermal imager it happens to be a very nice add to my tool kit and it's very useful we can use it to um see where air hot air or cool air depending on what operation you're in you can see where it's leaking under doors or through a uh, attic access and help diagnose problems you can even help catch humidity problems and find the source with this because of the coolness and emissivity capabilities i mean it's just really nice 
So thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked the video and I left a link in the description to this. And I think I should add, check out this new sticker in the merch store. Um, it's a little bit comical. I think you'll like it. Thanks for watching.